Breaking news now on this Tuesday, October the 28th, 2025. I'm the Carolina Weather Group's James Briarton in Charlotte, North Carolina. Destructive Hurricane Melissa is beginning the process of making landfall on the island of Jamaica. Latest satellite imagery shows the powerful Category 5 storm as it nears the island. It'll officially make landfall when half of that eye crosses on shore, a process that is now getting underway just after this 11 o'clock hour on this Tuesday. And you'll also notice in the top right portion of this satellite image, the storm is so powerful, it is creating what we call multi-vortices, or almost little storms inside the big storm. And you can see one of those ballooning up in the top top right portion of this satellite image. We have meteorologists and scientists who are flying through this storm to capture vital scientific information. And this is video that they took from inside a NOAA aircraft as they flew through the eye of the storm last night on Monday night. This is called the stadium effect, and it is incredible video, and it shows you the exterior of that eye wall. And now National Hurricane Center meteorologists are warning those still on Jamaica to not be tricked by this eye wall. When the weather clears inside the eye wall, as it passes over wherever it is that you are sheltering from the storm, they are warning you protect your life, stay in shelter, because the backside of this eye wall is pushing 200 miles an hour, making it one of the strongest storms, if not the strongest storm in the Atlantic Hurricane Basin ever. We can take a look here at some of those stats. As we look at sustained winds, Hurricane Melissa officially at this hour at 185 miles an hour, but those same aircraft and those same scientists are flying back through the storm and they are taking measurements in real time this morning, and they're finding winds near 200 miles an hour. If that were to verify, it would become the most powerful hurricane in record when you look at those sustained winds. And it is those sustained winds that determine which category the storm is on the Saffir Simpson scale. In just moments, we will take you down to the National Hurricane Center in Miami for an update, the latest on this storm as it nears Jamaica. and. The warning right now is final preparations need to be wrapped up and people need to be sheltering in place on the island of Jamaica to protect their life as this storm now comes overhead. The scientists aboard the National Hurricane Center Hurricane Hunter aircraft, or really the the NOAA aircraft that is flying through this storm, also are taking what's called air pressure measurements. It's a way to identify the intensity of the storm. And when we look at the statistics for what they have found so far, Melissa has 892 millibars of pressure. That makes it one of, in the top three, Strongest hurricanes in the Atlantic Hurricane Basin, only behind Wilma from 2005 and Gilbert from 1988. And again, this storm still showing strengths of intensifying as it nears landfall. We have those incredible images from inside the storm available on our YouTube channel if you want to watch them in their entirety. They are astonishing to see. They are both beautiful and scary at the same time. And it's only possible to get imagery when they fly aircraft just like this one through the eye of the storm. Matter of fact, the storm was so powerful yesterday that one of the missions had to be canceled early because it got too turbulent to fly the aircraft. You'll also notice that the aircraft is not jet propelled. Not like the planes that you might take commercially. Instead, it has propellers, and that actually helps it fly through the storm when it is this intense. And as I speak to you right now, there is another one of those missions underway as we speak. NOAA 2 is out there right now on mission 23, flying or have just wrapped up flying through the storm. And this is where we know that the storm is pushing some of the strongest winds on record. Because when we look at the data that is coming back from that plane, it's pushing 180 knots, which would push it over the 200 mile per hour threshold to make it one of, if not the strongest winds in an Atlantic hurricane basin storm ever on record. And again, this is only possible because scientists who are themselves impacted by the current federal government shutdown are still flying these missions through the storm. They are able to gather data that we could not get otherwise because although we have satellites and we have buoys, when a storm is out over the Atlantic Ocean or any ocean basin, the best way to actually still get data is to fly straight through it and make a cross-section of that storm.
And that data then goes back into the National Hurricane Center. And that's where the meteorologists at the NOAA's National Hurricane Center are able to put together their forecasts that look a little something like this. And as of 11 o'clock, they are not messing around. Extremely dangerous. Category 5, Melissa, about to make landfall in Jamaica. Catastrophic winds, flash flooding, and storm surge occurring on the island and expected to occur as this relatively slow-moving storm continues to move towards the island. At the 11 o'clock hour, only 40 miles offshore of Jamaica as the storm continues to move north. Let's go down now to the National Hurricane Center where they have just posted this update. National Hurricane Center just after 11 a.m. on Tuesday with an update on uh, catastrophic Hurricane Melissa, a category five storm, maximum sustained winds around 185 miles per hour, uh, poised to make landfall on uh, the southwestern coast of Jamaica here in the next hour or two. Uh, right now, Melissa is now moving more steadily toward the north-northeast at nine miles per hour, uh, expected to make landfall here in the next couple hours in St. Elizabeth, uh, Westmoreland parishes, uh, the northern portion of the eye wall now starting to move on shore in areas like Black River, uh, Barbary Hall, Blunters. Uh, it's going to be a very dangerous scenario it's now starting to play out in the next few hours as the eye of Melissa moves across Jamaica today. Uh, catastrophic wind damage expected in the eye wall here, you know, total bu building failures, uh, and the winds will be even higher up here in the areas of high topography. You could have wind gusts over 200 miles per hour in some of those high mountains here across Jamaica. We're also going to see that storm surge play out here in the next couple of hours along the south coast, near and to the right of where the center crosses the coast, could see inundation of 9 to 13 feet above ground level with destructive wave action on top of it. So everybody in Jamaica needs to be in their safe place, stay indoors. Do not go out when the eye crosses over. There will be a period of relative calm, but with the forward speed increasing and the very small size of the eye, winds will pick up and dangerous conditions will pick up very quickly uh, as the backside of the eye moves uh, through. So do not go outside. Plan to shelter in place throughout the day today. On the rainfall front, uh, rainfall forecast has not changed, expecting widespread 15 to 30 inches of rainfall, already seeing pictures of flooding uh, in the Kingston area this morning. Isolated rainfall totals could be as high as 40 inches in locations, producing catastrophic, life-threatening uh, flooding, numerous landslides uh, in these areas. So just a catastrophic situation playing out here for Jamaica through the rest of today uh, into tonight. Now zooming out to the impacts that we're going to see in other areas as the center of Melissa moves off the north coast of Jamaica, we're expecting it to make landfall in South southeastern Cuba overnight tonight or early Wednesday morning. We have hurricane warnings in effect for much of eastern Cuba. Uh, then the center of Melissa will move out into the southwestern Atlantic and through the southeastern Bahamas during the day on Wednesday into Wednesday evening where we have hurricane warnings in effect as well. Storm surge along the southeast Cuban coast 8 to 12 feet above normal tide levels. Five to eight feet of inundation possible in the southeastern Bahamas uh, near where the eye uh, passes through. And again, dangerous major hurricane force winds expected across portions of southeastern Cuba with uh, 10 to 20 inches of rainfall, isolated rainfall totals here in some of these areas as high as 25 inches. Again, catastrophic flash flooding and landslides likely in areas of high terrain. Significant rainfall, five to 10 inches in the southeastern Bahamas. And we're still seeing going to see heavy rainfall in portions of Hispanic with a six to eight additional inches across southern Haiti, Dominican Republic, with dangerous conditions playing out there. So wrapping up with the key messages, we're just going to focus in on Jamaica right now. This is an extremely dangerous, life-threatening situation. Take cover now. Catastrophic winds with total structural failure likely near the path of Maria's core as the eye wall moves across portions of western Jamaica. Do not go out in the eye as it passes your area. Catastrophic flash flooding landslides and destructive winds are expected to cross the remainder of the island, causing widespread infrastructure damage, communications loss, power loss in isolated communities, and along the southern coast, life-threatening storm surge and damaging waves expected throughout the day. So please stay safe. Pay attention to information you're getting from your local government officials and your local meteorological service and come back here to the National Hurricane Center at hurricanes.gov for the latest on Melissa. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan. Great update there from the National Hurricane Center. Appreciate all that they're doing to keep us all informed as we continue to look at some of that imagery from inside the storm that was taken during one of those recent NOAA aircraft missions. As you saw, for those of us here in the Carolinas, the storm is going to remain offshore and head back out into the Atlantic which will be good news, but we could still expect to see some rough surf from the storm as we have seen throughout the season with some of these coastal storms that have not made landfall in the Carolinas, but have still kicked up rough surf. Matter of fact, we're just getting word from Sam Walker out on the Outer Banks that another home has 
into the Atlantic Ocean in that Buxton area. Not a direct impact from Melissa, but as we continue to see high tide and rough surf causing that beach erosion out there in the Outer Banks, specifically in the Buxton area, we could see more homes collapse in the days ahead, especially once Melissa gets offshore and helps generate even rougher surf, as we've been telling you about here on the Carolina Weather Group, the situation out there on the Atlantic coast side in the Outer Banks of North Carolina has resulted in numerous collapses, the 11th so far in Buxton since mid-September. So there you have it. So uh, we will continue to provide updates for you as we get them. Um, The storm, Hurricane Melissa, a historic Category 5 hurricane beginning the process of making landfall in Jamaica on this Tuesday, October the 28th, 2025. If you're watching live with me right now on YouTube, we're going to take you back over to our Carolina weather net for real-time weather conditions across the Carolinas anytime. And we'll see you back Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern for a new edition of our Carolina Weather Group podcast each Wednesday at 9, covering weather throughout the Carolinas and beyond, as you can see right here as we look at this historic storm playing out here in the Atlantic Basin. But for now, from Charlotte, I'm James Briarton. Thanks for watching.